Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. The rest of you, let's ride. OK, let's go get that boy back. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the coal? Who gives a damn about the coal? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Now, Jack, we should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! Easy, John. We've come for the boy. He must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Watch those 
kill you too, old woman. You bastards. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one! Guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> 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 I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. 
But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean. Mac, Davy, Jenny, and for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. Yeah, <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought I could just leave again and no one would ever know. 
But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. And this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. As soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Plenty found it. Big old run-down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but we sent them on their way. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Now, I was saying, probably moved on to one of their other hideouts, what's left of them. It's where we got that dynamite for the bank job. Shouldn't be any trouble. Just need to check it's all clear. Now, where have I heard that before? That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Check the house. You keep watch out here. I'd advise you to run, you son of a bitch! Dead or alive! You're leaving this place today! Some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. How's it looking up there? I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Everything all right up there? Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow 
Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right. See you soon. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. that girl all I've got going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea so where are we going to take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world sand and knee I keep hearing about according to the map the road up this way should lead us right in there all right I guess this day ain't over yet not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed the paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big 
big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Je vous salue. Hey there. Bien. Bonjour. Hi there, ma'am. Well, hello. Some real beautiful country around this area. Is now that I've so? heard we've got to start work even earlier. Mm, hello, gentlemen. Hello, sir. Señor. Sir. Hello there. What is it with you? If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. You going after Lindsay Waffle? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feller someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the bounty's for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Guess all that remains is to bring him in. Remember, they forfeited their right to life as well as liberty. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, girl. Around her life. A whole lot 
Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. Get out of here! In an here. effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. Ah. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. show is this? Your freak nearly killed me. No, 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 Ladies and 
gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition. Oh my God. And dissipation. And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration. I have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. This Robio! <laughs> Doing a nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! <laughs> Amateurs! <laughs> Go follow your brother! Bring out more freaks! Well, that's our show! <laughs> Thanks, Anthony! Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! Foley's I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. <laughs> Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him, I bathed him, I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker, and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lally Cola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go! Oh, I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god, come on! Oh my god! Sweet Jesus. Oh my god. That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe as I 
the great Benjamin Lazarus will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm huh. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, this is worse than I challenge any member drive. of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. Is no one man enough? Come on, Here's some stand, more. Up, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <clears throat> Take aim. Oh, so the fight is too much. And fire. He's gonna knock his teeth down. is just an illusion, after all. A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
Wonderful! Oh, incredible! It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible! Bravo! Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky! joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah! This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal this is can't leave the man alone. Surprise. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. He connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from She is a siren, singing from the rocks as men bash into them, to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon 